Hi, my name is Greg Hammerly. I'm one of the analysts and a World Finals judge, and I'm from Baylor University, and I'm here to talk about problem C, ceiling function. This is the easiest problem of the problem set, and it is designed to be uh, solvable by all the teams. And uh, the key story here is uh, to do binary search, binary search tree insertion. Um, the story in the problem, of course, is almost irrelevant. Uh, so we're just going to ignore that in this case and focus on the data that you're given and what you're supposed to do with it. Um, if you have studied binary search trees, you know how to insert into them. Um, you always insert to the right if it's greater, to the left if it's less, and um, recursively go about that procedure. And that is actually described in the problem statement. And so the goal here is that you're going to be, or the idea here is that as input you're going to be given up to 50 sequences of integers, and each of those sequences of integers is going to have uh, up to 20 integers, and every sequence is going to have the same number of integers. Um, so you might get, in this case, I've shown you the first sample data, five sequences, one, two, three, four, five, of three integers each, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. For each of these sequences, the goal is to build a binary search tree by inserting the numbers in order. So insert 2, then insert 7, then insert 1. So if we do this, um, we insert 2 at the root, and then we insert uh, 7 to its right, and we insert, insert 1 to the left of 2, and we get this binary search tree. If we do the same thing here, we insert 3 at the root, we insert 1 to its left, and we insert 4 to, its, to the root's right, and we get this tree. And we notice that these two trees, even though they have different numbers in them, have the same shape, and that is key to this problem. 159, if we insert in that order, 1, then 5, then 9, we get a different shape, a right-leaning tree, as opposed to these two balanced trees. And the goal in this problem is actually to identify the fact that these two trees have the same shape which is different than this shape, which is different than this shape, which is different than this shape. And so the question is, given n sequences, each of which contains uh, k unique numbers, uh, unique within its own sequence, how many unique tree shapes do we get? So this is fairly straightforward. Uh, we can just implement the straightforward solution of take, read in all the data, insert everything into its own binary search tree, and then keep track of all those binary search trees and somehow determine their uniqueness. Now you can do this by storing them all and comparing all against all, so that would be an n squared solution. Uh, n here is small enough as well as k is small enough that that would be a viable solution. Um, a slightly better solution is to sort all of the trees and look at the uh, adjacent pairs and see and count only the ones that are unique or you could store them in something like a set uh, or a hash table or something like that uh, if you have a comparator on trees. Um, so if you do this with a sort, then of course it's n log n, but again, n is so small that shouldn't matter. So we expect the first teams uh, to have this solved uh, before, the teams to have this solved first before any other problem, and I expect that this will be solved within the first 10 minutes. Mm -hmm.